Collective and welcome back to New View. I'm checking on the energy that's going to be going on around you for this week of Thanksgiving, right? It's Thanksgiving week. I'm super jazzed about it. It's one of my favorite holidays, you know. Um, so anyway, this reading is for the collective. It may not be for all of you, but if something pulled you in from the title, there's something in it for you. Just take what resonates, though, and leave the rest behind, right? And thank you to all of my subscribers for helping me grow this channel from the ground up, you guys. I so appreciate all of you. I hope you know that. And welcome to everybody new here. I'm Mammy Becca. Hi. Welcome. Okay, so these cards want to come out fork in the road okay so this is masculine energy okay um they've got a fire lit in them but they feel very stuck the the, the divine is pointing the direction for this person that they want them to go in okay but this person is very stuck maybe in their own head or they could be stuck in a different relationship maybe realizing that um you're a soulmate but you're moving on you could even be meeting somebody new here oh they want to fix this with you collective okay this is somebody who left you feeling very orphaned um very abandoned all alone right in the dark like not having any answers not knowing anything about like why this even happened to you in the first place but now i feel like you're moving on. You could be grabbing a hold of a, of a great opportunity here. Maybe new love, new soulmate connections. And it's leaving this person from your past feeling very orphaned. Okay, so roles have been reversed on this person. Okay, it's causing them a lot of mental chaos and conflict. They could he have a lot of people around them right now in their life that... Um, is they're kind of defending you i feel you know for a while we were picking up on nothing but haters you know people who were hating your glow up um, but now these people i feel like the same people are starting to um they're starting to defend you now stand up for you pressuring this person to maybe come forward and do the right thing yeah see and you can feel it you can feel your justice coming okay and I feel like that's maybe um, you felt very stagnant in this connection because you were hoping to see some kind of justice. But you know, you're, I feel like you know, you're aware that your name is being vindicated behind the scenes, okay? You're aware of it. And spirit is leading you um, to someplace different, right? They're leading you into your happiness, into all these things that are faded for you. Look at all of this money coming towards you, okay? And this never-ending story, it's about to end with a 10. I feel like this situation has left you drained. You're so tired. You know, you're exhausted. You've been working really hard. You've done your shadow work. You've taken a look at yourself. You've made the changes where you needed to. You've done everything that spirit has wanted you to do. And now they're blessing you for all of that. Okay? They're blessing you for all of that. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you could even be making a house move, a location change. This is new energy right um a new community a new area as some of you are thinking that you just here's the thing through this journey i feel like you've had your reputation dragged through the dirt okay people walked all over you they were all out here chit-chatting about you okay laughing about you um blaming you for everything okay you were like the scapegoat in this and i feel like some of you didn't even really want to leave your house because you didn't know who you were going to bump into that was going to talk about you next. Some of you just didn't know who you could trust anymore. It's made you feel isolated, okay? And I feel like for the longest time we really enjoyed that isolation, but now we're ready to fly. We're ready to get out there and live our lives again. So the divine is like, you know what? You made it. You made it through the healing. You know, holding yourself back in, st in stagnancy in this energy all alone, I feel like it's, a, it's excruciating at this point. 
it's almost becoming toxic for you to sit in stagnancy anymore okay so spirit has got you on the move right um i feel like if you haven't already moved away um there's a house move coming in your future okay there is you may already be noticing that you're packing boxes um getting your money together saving a pile of money possibly for a new house you could be um realizing that um you know some of you could have been in like some kind of financial trouble wondering what you were going to do what am i going to do when is this going to end i am so tired i'm so tired right um but here it comes i feel like spirit has given you at everything that you're manifesting okay you've got all these blessings large and small coming down falling right in your lap um and i feel like you've got a pile of money coming this is success abundance people who are going to be honest with you, new soulmate connections, okay, a house move, leading you to some place where you can be truly happy and feel free. You know, if you look at you here in the environment that you've been in, you've been kind of all co cooped up, right? Um, you and look at just the way you're sitting. You're much more open to new things here before i feel like you were on guard you were kind of guarding yourself against all of these other people they were all betraying you trash talking you now you're going someplace where you can truly feel free open up meet new people finish your healing yeah look you've got a new soulmate coming in who's going to be loyal to you too all right so yeah all the divine is trying to do they're leading you here Okay, use your intuition. Divine is leading you from a bad cycle into a new one, okay, that's going to be bright and colorful and vibrant. Um, you're going to be able to live your life again. Your life was not meant to be cooped up, guarded, and not wanting to go anywhere or, you know, wanting to stay away and avoid people. Now you're actually going towards new connections okay being more open you know i feel like you finished your healing process here you're ready to move on collective and that's what spirit's trying to do you've also passed judgment um you've passed all your tests look at you're wearing a crown here they've crowned you they're celebrating you on the 5d because you made it through an excruciating last cycle You've had to endure a lot. You've had to really push yourself. You know what I mean? And spirit has been kind of pushing you too all in little increments all along the way, right? So, yeah, um, now we're at the end of the cycle, okay? Starting a new one, possibly moving, being divinely led, getting downloads in your sleep, right? You could be planning, planning a new future. Where am I going to go, right? Spirit will tell you. They'll show you. So, yeah, especially with the 44. We got a lot of fours in this reading, you guys. So I know Spirit's talking to you. All right, so what else can you show me here? Yeah, and look, they're trying to lead you. <laughs> you know, they're, they're saying just keep going by the book. You know, we know you're tired. We've seen everything that you've been put through. We've seen all of the effort you've put in to yourself. Okay, now we're going to lead you straight into your happiness, into a new cycle. Just go by the book. So I feel like just listen to your intuition and trust it. Yeah, an unfinished symphony, but here and now you're like at a starting line, right? And I, I feel like you've been sitting in between the past and the future, thinking, you know, feeling this is unfinished. I never got an apology. I never got an explanation. I never saw my justice. Spirit's leading you to your justice. And believe me, they have seen everything that you have been put through. They've been observing, watching you. And I'm telling you now, you have passed all the tests. 
You've passed. You've passed through judgment. You can be free, okay? So I feel like what they're saying is, look, a big change is coming. A big change is about to happen in your life, okay? So get to work, okay? Um, start packing boxes. Get rid of the things that no longer serve you. Any kind of um, clutter, okay? Clear out the clutter. Just sweep it out. They also want you to do a possibly a home cleansing on yourself um, or, or on your home. Um, maybe a spiritual bath, something like that. Cleanse your energy. But they want you to get prepared. I feel like they want you to get prepared. And some of you may be getting rid of, like, everything. That's what I did. You guys, I recently purchased a new home. I moved, like, four of us into this place. It took me a long time. It literally took me, like, a couple of months. I'm still trying to recover from that, right? It's a lot of hard work. But you know what I did? Um, I did hire two moving companies, actually, to move me and I I got rid of pretty much everything that I had you know and I just restarted and you're starting off fresh you know for some of you that's what you're being led to do you know you don't need that old sofa that you've had for the last five years get a new one you know it's maybe spirits leading you to get new furniture um, a new home um, they want all new for you now because you're starting a new cycle, okay? You're starting a new cycle. So there's a lot of things that you're going to be donating. There's a lot of things you're going to be getting rid of, giving away, throwing away, okay? I feel like any, and any item that somebody gave to you that, um, that, that they wanted to keep you in this orphaned, sad energy, right? Anything that makes you feel like this, you need to pitch. You need to get it out of your life, okay? And I feel like they want you to kind of clear out um, any kind of baggage you may have, you know, from the past. They don't want you bringing that into this new cycle. See, when you pass through this little veil here, right, from the old cycle into a brand new timeline, a brand new life for yourself, um, they want you to have all of that baggage and anything that no longer serves you stripped away. Okay? They want you to start fresh. So a huge change is coming for you here. Um, let's see what else is coming up for you. I just want to switch decks. Okay. Yeah, we're going to leave this here. Yeah, look at, look at the change that's coming for you, Collective. The Land of Milk and Honey. That's like the Ten of Cups in this deck. Um, ultimate wish fulfillment. Spirit may want you to be making wishes as you um, go through this portal, pass into your new cycle, your new life. So be thinking about the things that you want to fill your life with, fill your new home with, okay? Whatever it is for you. I feel like some of you are being moved away. You could be starting a new job or you could be making a transition between working for someone to make someone else rich and working for yourself to build wealth for yourself. Okay, so you could be making a transition to be um, independent, you know, um, as far as a, a, a career, your own business, yeah, being your own boss. Um, so maybe that's something that you're working on. Could be a new project. There's a masculine here, too, who wants to take some kind of action towards you. Um, I'm getting that they're feeling very jealous, very envious. But I'm getting also with Archangel Michael out here that you're, you've got a lot of spiritual protection. And if you're worried about what you've already built for yourself, it's being protected, okay? By the, I feel like the best protector spirits got, you know, for real. Um, Archangel Michael isn't someone to mess with, all right? <laughs> Strategy, somebody, if there's a dark individual that's got some kind of dark attachment, um, yeah, they want to come chasing after you here. 
there may be um, a masculine I feel like they're still attached to a karmic individual but they want to turn into the chaser now they see you um, moving away leaving they can feel that disconnect um, I feel like you're on your temple path this could be like this is representing to me your new home okay so people may want to try to find your new home they may be looking on the internet um, for any kind of like where's your address right it could be both a karmic and a masculine that are trying to find you you know but I feel like this masculine is still attached to a karmic either way and I feel like spirits trying to tell you but we have somebody we have someone coming in your future that's going to love you the right way. Okay? We have a loving person coming to you. It's right through this door, Collective. <laughs> Just go through this door. Go through this door. Spirit's leading you in a whole new path. Whoever you're leaving behind is already jealous, envious, uh, planning, plotting, strategizing, wanting to chase. Um, but spirit is opening a new door for you, um, a new person, right? Star energy, earth angel energy here. You could be an Aquarius, you could be a Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? So I'm getting a lot of um, a Cancer. I've got Cancer, Pisces out here as well. A lot of air, a lot of fire. And I feel like that's just it. Um, you're fueling the fire in this person that you're leaving behind. They're just, they're kind of like, they're very passionate, but they're yet, I'm feeling this anger off of this person. And that's why the divine is leading you in a different direction, okay? Use your intuition here. So not only do you have new love coming in, you've got money coming in, okay? And then this new person, they're going to know your value. They're going to know your worth as well. So I feel like just listen to spirit. L allow the divine to guide you. They're guiding you to something better. This person from your past, like I said, they're scheming, they're planning, they're plotting. They've got a dark attachment. And they're on your heels, you know, they're coming at you like a dark horse. Um, that's, that's from a song I'm getting. Um, oh, Katie, is it Katy Perry? Um, dark horse, yeah. But spirits urging you to walk away. You're already getting a victory. And I feel like this person from your past, they're about to be swallowed up by karma, okay? It's giving me the whole exodus energy okay um the divine creating a safe passage for you by splitting the sea okay remember and then when those people come to follow you the sea just engulfs them and swallows them up so i feel like this is this is spirit opening a passage for you um where is it on your temple path oh darn it where was that card Darn it. Anyway, they're opening a path for you. Here it is. They're opening a door. They're opening a path. Sorry about that, you guys. And they want you to walk down that path. Okay? Close the gate behind you. Um, no one from your past can come back in now. Okay? And then spirit is, when they come at you like a dark horse, spirit's going to swallow them up whole with karma. I'm telling you, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, so the divine is pointing you in the right way. Just trust. Trust where spirit is trying to lead you. Um, yeah, they're trying to lead you to your justice, your abundance, your success, your happiness, a new home, and a person who's not going to want to leave your side. Somebody who's intuitive like you, somebody who's grounded and stable, someone who's a hard worker and will put the work into your relationship. Okay, scales are being balanced out. Your life is, is um, 
is starting to change, okay, in a huge way. So, yeah, just trust where the divine is guiding you, okay? Anyway, that's what I have for this quick check-in. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Start packing, okay? Start packing, collective. I feel like spirit's going to move you to a new location, all right? Anyway, um, like and subscribe to the channel if you guys like this vibe, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.